Hey guys, it's me, UB Programmer, and I recently graduated from a Udacity Nano degree program named as AI Programming with Python. And in this video, I'll be sharing my review about this program as well as the handwritten notes and the two projects which I did during this program. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe the UB Programmer channel. In this, you will get uh, content about data science, uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, Python, R and much more. Let's get started with the video. So here I am on my computer screen and this is the certificate uh, which I got or earned after completing all the requirements of the program and I got it on February 13 and the cool thing about this is you can always confirm this from the Audacity official website as graduation so it's not an just an online course it's uh, quite a graduation degree you are getting right and this is the confirmation link and you can just include this in your resume and let's see how I would uh, do this uh, if I just include it in my resume so it will be something like that so I will just keep this in my education uh, history and then I will just name it as a programming with Python nano degree and you can just include the courses as follows and you can just take an idea what I was learning uh, during these six months so duration of this uh, nano degree was one semester six months and this was the topics so we started from uh, python fundamentals then uh, some data wrangling techniques numpy pandas data visu uh, visualization the algorithms of ml uh, with the scikit-learn uh, it was theory plus scikit-learn so the theory concepts was also there the underlying concepts of all the ml algorithms then we got the dl algorithms so main focus of this program was on the uh, deep learning so this was quite awesome then we applied uh, uh, transfer learning and i have made a github repo for this and you can just uh, easily see all the uh, material there uh, there was two projects so you can get the source code about them here and uh, the first one was dog classifier uh, it was not for uh, from scratch and the second one was uh, uh, 102 flower uh, classifier which is uh, quite an intense project I would say with the help of PyTorch and it was just uh, really starting from the beginning and uh, these uh, projects this was also implemented as a python application as a command line application so you can see we have shell here also so uh, we have the uh, uh, you can say skill to uh, implement a python uh, script into a, a command line application and you can also check out my other uh, projects from here and let's see the uh, content of this program right one by one so these are all the handwritten notes and you can download it right uh, so we started uh, with the AI and ML so first of all the uh, oops concepts was there the object oriented programming uh, in Python so it was like uh, giving an intro how you import the classes and modules in Python right uh, and then the uh, uh, project one it was within one month uh, of starting of this uh, program we get the uh, project one and uh, we uh, submit it right and the feedback of the projects was uh, really from an expert in the industry so it was not an automated uh, verification system or checking system uh, this is like uh, really uh, you can say a uh, pros of Udesky they uh, use the actual 
human beings uh, to uh, check your project right okay so after that we have the numpy and the basic concepts about uh, the numpy uh, about their function and methods right and then we start with the pandas and so how to handle the data in the data frame so this was the main topic then completed pandas and if you uh, talk about uh, this uh, degree versus other courses uh, online so uh, this degree helps you like uh, keeping on with the project so it was not completely self-paced that means you have to uh, attend uh, uh, the sessions with the uh, with the instructor which is live session of two hours after a week so that's really cool and uh, the uh, you can say the excess of this program was uh, on the time based right so uh, you can't just say hey, uh, I will just enroll it now and do it after uh, two months right so this was not the case so that was like a pro for me because uh, I have to be in the pressure in order to complete anything right so if you are something like that this will be really helpful for you okay so then we started the data visualization the two modules was discussed uh, matplotlib and seabone uh, this is uh, enough if you are starting out right and then the deep learning part started linear algebra and the basic underlying concepts was introduced and the uh, famous channel uh, of stairs three blue one brown uh, the instructor was uh, you can say collaborated uh, with this with this program so that was really cool and then the uh, uh, neural networks basics uh, was there and so uh, you can see I have created these diagrams uh, for you uh, in order to understand the things right then a little bit about calculus the derivatives because these are like uh, the basics of updation of the weights in your neural network and then neural network uh, the back propagation so this is the concept which I really uh, understand now after doing this program because before that I was really confused about that but now I'm super confident about this uh, back propagation so that was about it and then the AI in Python so uh, you can say the actual coding part in the Python for the AI after understanding all the theory concepts and uh, which I, we did in the PyTorch right and uh, so we started it from like really basic like uh, uh, writing our own activation function and just uh, randomly initialized some inputs and weights and biases so to understand the output of any neuron uh, started with the single neuron then uh, the multi-layer with the uh, basics of hidden layers right and then we uh, go for the actual syntax of uh, model creation or neural networks in the PyTorch because if we start it from uh, the actual coding uh, it will not uh, work out if you are completely beginner so we have to know about all the basics first okay and then uh, for the training of uh, any neural network there are five steps mainly right so this was there and these are like five steps so you uh, just reset your gradients then do a forward pass calculate loss uh, then you uh, uh, do a backward pass and do the step for the optimizer these are the steps uh, I will say you need in every training loop of your neural network in PyTorch then the uh, testing or you can say validation of your model and how we can save and deploy uh, our 
PyTorch model that was there, the image data in the PyTorch, and in the end, transfer learning. This was used uh, in the uh, project two or the second project of this course. So that was really, uh, you can say, the keen interest of this uh, program and the transfer learning and how we can use it. So that was it for this uh, video. I hope you like it. And if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please subscribe. And I will meet you in the next video. Thanks for watching.